Hey, what's up, YouTube? Are you guys doing your 3D modeling on crack software or doing it on less powerful solutions? Well, threat no more, 3D experience has finally given us an alternative for those people that are on a budget to design. This is SolidWorks Makers for Hobbyists. Now, it's 100 bucks a year or 10 bucks a month. Super cheap prices when you compare it to the ultimate power of SolidWorks Professional at your fingertips. This is how you install it. I'm gonna open up a Chrome browser. I'm gonna type in SolidWorks Maker and then download. Right here, we're gonna go to the 3D experience and we're gonna go right here on the get started. Let's see where it takes us. Uh, this is a special offer, is out for makers and hobbyists. Rules include, ah, you just scroll down. So let me just get this out of the way, accept all. Uh, monthly subscription. Yes, let's do the monthly subscription. I'm gonna add that to cart. Uh, 3D experience, SolidWorks for makers, $9.99. Let's scroll down, it's gonna go to payment. So I've already made an account. That's actually quite easy to do. Just create a, a, a 3D experience ID account. Go ahead and log in. We are setting things up. Please wait a few seconds. Ah, the great wait. Okay. So we got the order summary here. I'm gonna fill out this information here. So this is where uh, I'm gonna quickly use the power of editing. All I did there was input my address, add a payment method, and now we're at here. So you're just one click away from getting started. Head over to your email that you use to subscribe. Here you'll see your order and you'll have an email from your 3D experience subscription confirmation. And basically it's gonna tell you the, the, the total, what the package includes. So this is not the email with a link. Do 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 bum 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 bum. The subscription email and uh, this will, uh, so I get started here. So I'm gonna click this link. You are just one click away from your journey. Well, this link doesn't help. <laughs> okay, so I found an error here. I mean, I, I don't, maybe someone knows something I don't. But we're back and I got the email with the link. However, the link here is not opening up for me. So what I've done is I went to the makers community and now I'm looking at a recent form. So let's try this. So the makers cloud, and I'll, I'll put this link in the, in the description as well. Okay, so I got the welcome screen and you could go on this on your own. Uh, this kind of shows you how to navigate it. And this looks like it's it, yeah. So this is the creator dashboard. Um, we could go on this another time. Uh, but right here, let's make sure to bookmark this. So I'm gonna bookmark it here and it's the X design, but that's fine. You could go up to the gear on the top left and it's gonna give you access to all your uh, to all your roles, they call them, I guess. Uh, but here's actually the, all the software. So you click on this and it'll take you to another piece of software, um, X shape, and you're able to access the software online. So we're interested, or at least I'm interested in a 3D experience SolidWorks professional. This is the SolidWorks maker. So I'm gonna click here. Actually, so so you so just just to reiterate, so you're gonna go up here to this to this roles, apps, and solutions profile or portfolio, uh, the 3D Experience SolidWorks Professional, and we're gonna click this here, SolidWorks Connected, and it's gonna start launching uh, an application here. At least it's gonna give you a download for 3D uh, Experience, and right here we're gonna download the 3D Experience Launcher. Gonna launch this up. We're gonna click next. Click install. We're gonna hit yes. And we're gonna finish up with the setup wizard. Here we're gonna go continue and we're gonna put always. Install all roles containing SolidWorks connected. Launching installation. Launching installer, please wait. Okay, so welcome to 3D Experience R 2023 Hotfix 1.2 installation program. So, so this is something else you probably need to install. 
hit next. Okay, before you install, click that your environment is compatible with the 3D Experience platform on cloud. To use the cloud eligibility tool, visit 3D Experience platform on cloud support. Let's test your capability. So let's hit this to see what this is about. Advanced. Proceed. We're going to log in again. And it's going to be another execution install file. Okay, so we're back. The cloud eligibility execution file is finally ready. Except checking if this environment is cloud ready. I wonder what it technically is doing there. I'm not really sure. Checking if this environment is cloud ready. I mean, I have connection to the internet. Does that mean it's cloud ready? Don't know, but we'll see. Okay, so I'm looking at the statuses and the ones that are X. So apparently these this isn't a certified workstation. I already know that. It's a it's a Surface Laptop Studio. Um, but I don't really think we'll face any real problems because it's a Surface Laptop Studio. So let's go ahead and anyways, proceed. So we've done that. Um, so let's hit next. Let's go to next. We're gonna choose our installation directory. Okay. Hitting next again. I got 814 gigs. It only requires 16 though. Okay, so right now it's gonna download the files and after it's gonna install them. So uh, magic editing again. <laughs> Okay, so we're back. So the installation program has finished installing SOLIDWORKS R2023 Hotfix 1.2. Okay, so let's close this. And installation successful. Now, the way that SOLIDWORKS Maker handles it is that it's not really a software on your computer. Uh, it's So you, you kind of always have to be connected to the internet to kind of launch it. Uh, because, uh, it, it, for example, uh, you won't find SOLIDWORKS on your, on your software. So if I type in here, SOLIDWORKS, uh, you, you'll find like the wizard settings, but you don't really have SOLIDWORKS there. So you can't just go in and click it. So that, that's one of the caveats of it, but it's, it's 10 bucks a month. You can't be 10 bucks a month for uh, modeling software. So I'm going to hit SOLIDWORKS connected. And right here is where you launch the actual software. So you see on the, on the bottom right, they're launching selected apps. Okay. So <clears throat> it launched SOLIDWORKS. It's on the homepage. Uh, in the background, you'll see SOLIDWORKS Maker, which is really cool. I think that's really cool. And on the right side, I'm going to hit accept all. It'll have the 3D experience launcher there which will give you access to your 3D experience, uh, uh, kind of almost the same thing you'll see on the web browser. Um, and then, uh, and more importantly, it'll give you access to your, your cloud files and all that. Uh, hit allow access. Now you have SOLIDWORKS Maker installed on your laptop and yeah, just start being creative and start designing. Um, actually let's do this real quick. Let's, uh, Let's make sure this actually works. So we're gonna go to file. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna tie this down so I always see this. So it's file new. Uh, I'm gonna start a part in millimeters. Uh, I work in millimeters, so sorry guys. Press OK, and we're gonna go with just a part. I'm gonna hit advanced to keep this menu up here. I'll add some templates later on. Press OK, and this is the SolidWorks space. So. I'm going to hit here, sketch. Let's just do a square box. Let's give that dimension. Say uh, 100 and we'll do 70. And then we'll hit extrude boss. So extrude boss, 50. Set fit, which is F key. And now out of box cool so that's all works maker for you and uh i hope you guys learned a lot from it um i didn't really hit, hit any real issues except for that 
that uh, link not working but uh, as long as you follow these steps you shouldn't really have a hard time um, hopefully you guys thought that was interesting it'd be great if you guys liked and subscribed uh, drop a question if you got any hopefully I can get to it right away and um, you know be creative design and look me up if you need anything thank you bye guys